Morbid Maniacs, it's time for another spooky video, a part of Vlogtober. And for tonight's spooky video, I'm actually going to be talking about two creepy urban legends that are in Detroit, Michigan. And the reason why I chose urban legends from Detroit, Michigan is because I'm actually going there with my friend Mackenzie. We are actually going to go see the Jonas Brothers in concert. I'm really excited because I've never seen them in concert before. I've been a fan of them since the beginning, but I have never seen them live, so I'm super excited about it. And I figured while we were there, we could check out some haunted places. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of the history on these two places. Hopefully we can go there. That would be awesome and try to investigate it. The first creepy urban legend that is in Detroit that I'm going to be talking about is called the Knock Knock Road. Now, what I have heard is that there are multiple Knock Knock Roads in Michigan, but the one that I'm talking about involves a little girl. So, it's on a road known as Strasburg Road. The legend began back in the 1940s when a little girl was hit and killed by a careless driver. So, some say she was riding her bike in the road when she got hit and others say that she was walking to school when she got hit and killed. The little girl's name was Anne. Now the legend states that this little girl haunts this road looking for the driver who killed her. To this day, tons of people travel to Knock Knock Road just to get a glimpse of Anne. What I found interesting about the Knock Knock Road is that all around this road there are a bunch of creepy abandoned houses which no one lives in anymore so it just makes this story and this road even more scarier. There is another version of this story however which states that a bunch of teenagers were joyriding in their car late one night when they lost control of the vehicle and hit a telephone pole. They were trapped inside the car and they pounded and pounded on the windows and on the sides of the car but none of the neighbors could hear them and the car actually blew up with them inside of it. All of them died. Now it's not certain which one of these stories is true but as most of these creepy urban legends that involve some sort of like a phantom ghost on the side of the road a lot of them have different stories to them and you kind of have to decide for yourself which one you believe is true or not. So the next creepy legend that I'm going to be talking about in Detroit is known as the Belle Isle Park. So the Belle Isle Park obviously is located in Detroit, Michigan. So this used to be a zoo and the zoo opened up around 1895 and it officially closed in 2002. Then, in 2005, the Belle Isle Nature Center opened up and it is still in operation to this day. To the east of the zoo area, there lies a thick forest with a lot of like swampy overflow from Lake Tacoma. There are numerous bridges through and around this park. Bridges which you can drive on, hike on, or ride bikes on. But there is one bridge in particular that holds a creepy legend. It's the bridge on Tanglewood Drive. The legend says that if you park your car on this bridge and sit there, turn your engine off and honk your horn three times, an old lady will appear. A withered, decaying old lady in white will appear in front of your vehicle and she will motion at you to follow her into the forest. People who have witnessed her are too afraid to follow her into the woods. There's another urban legend surrounding the Belle Isle uh, Park. I don't necessarily know if these two legends are actually connected or if they're just two separate urban legends, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys that legend as well. Another legend surrounding the area is that of a Native American known as the Snake Goddess of Belle Isle. She was said to be the daughter of Ottawa Chief Sleeping Bear. That's a cool name. <laughs> and she was said to be a very beautiful young lady. So much so that she could not keep guys off of her. They would constantly swarm at her 
Her father got very bothered by this and was tired of seeing these guys constantly swarm at her. So he decided to hide her in a blanket covered canoe in the Detroit River. The wind blew the blanket off which sent the canoe downstream and unfortunately she was kidnapped. After feeling bad, her captor decided to bring her back to Chief Sleeping Bear where he put her away for safety. Sleeping Bear asked the great spirits for his daughter to protect her and so they filled the island with snakes and gave her immorality. From then on out, she was known as the Snake Goddess of Belle Isle. She also has the ability to transform herself into a white doe, which many people have said to have seen. And also, before it was known as Belle Isle, it was also known as Rattlesnake Island due to the amount of rattlesnakes there. There are also said to be many deaths and suicides that take place in Belle Isle. So those were the two creepy urban legends in Detroit, Michigan. If we get to go travel there, I think that that will be amazing. I don't really know because the time that we're going to be there, we're only going to be there for the weekend. If we do get to travel there, I think it will be amazing and I'll definitely film that for you guys and investigate the area. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And I will see you guys in the next video.